All right, boys, we are back, and it's time to head into the year seven offseason with our failing San Jose Sharks. We finally made it to the Stanley Cup Finals up against the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. Joe Pavelski was on this team, and we started off the series pretty good. We won game one. Game two, they came back and uh, defeated us. But then after game three, I thought we were in for a good run. We were up two to nothing in this, or two to one in the series, and Ernest Shirelli was playing pretty good for us. And the two wins that we had, he only allowed one goal. This game, yeah, okay, fine. But then they came back and they scored three straight. And I'm blaming the first line entirely. I'm not blaming the second, third, or fourth. I'm not blaming defense. I'm not playing. I'm not blaming the goaltender whatsoever. In games, what was it? Yeah, games five, game six, and game seven. We needed our first line, our best players, Jamie Ben and Logan Couture, to step up and and get us something. And I don't think they had a single point in that whole series. Maybe like one or two assists, but they didn't have a single goal. And when we really needed them for the game, uh, yeah, it was game six, right? Yeah, game six, when we really needed them. We were only down by one. The entire third period went by without a single goal. All right, so uh, Jamie Ben, Logan, they had their chance to bring the Stanley Cup to San Jose. They, they really had a good chance to do it. They had the depth behind them. They had the goaltender. They had the top two defensemen, all right, that they just could not get it done. They could not solve Anders Lindback, for God's sakes. So the Tampa Bay Lightning are your Stanley Cup champions, and now the San Jose Sharks have got to lick their wounds going, going into the offseason, figuring out what went wrong. I guess technically it's still a successful year, you know, um, Two years ago now, we, we missed the playoffs. So last year, we got back and we got to the second round, which was good. This year, we had a better regular season, and now we've got to the Stanley Cup Finals, which is good. But, uh, you know, obviously, if you're going to keep progressing, next year has to be a Stanley Cup win. But we all know it's not that easy, right? Even if I keep the exact same team and they all get better, it's not guaranteed that we make it to the Stanley Cup Final. So, uh, yeah, that hurts us definitely hurts us. I wanted to win the Stanley Cup this year. So you've earned the San Jose Sharks organization well, or you've served, yeah, sorry, served well over the last few, uh, few years. We're glad to offer you a contract extension. Three years? All right. Sounds good. I mean, I guess enough time has gone by since that game six defeat. Ah, oh, but still, man, this was the year that we could have won it for sure. But you know what? It's all good because with the end of one chapter opens up a new chapter, and it seems like the draft is going to be a a heavily traded day this year. I know all the analysts saying get rid of Jamie Benn, especially after that last uh, Game 6 performance and that Stanley Cup round performance. I did see a lot of comments from people saying, you know, if you win the Stanley Cup, you got to keep the team together. It'd be stupid to trade for a first overall pick after winning a Stanley Cup with the studs that you have on that team. And, uh, you know, I agree with that. I would have kept the same team together. But after that, you know, Stanley Cup collapse, it wasn't even a competitive series, you know. Um, I mean, to win three straight in a row... And to have our first line just completely outplayed by our, our third and fourth line, basically. You know, that's just not good enough. I wouldn't have mind if I lost, you know, by like one goal in a game seven situation where everybody played well and we just got beat by the better team. But I felt like, I mean, obviously the better team beat us, but uh, we should have been the better team, man. With the team that I've uh, created here, we should have been the better team. All right, so here's all the uh, retirements. I'm not going to read them all. Let's go down to San Jose, see if we uh, lost anybody. I doubt it. Uh, San Jose Pavelski, I was going to say, Leonard Pavelski, I don't have Pavelski on the team anymore, he's in Tampa Bay, he hasn't retired, right? No. Alright, so we lost uh, Chris Butler, who was a, de a depth defenseman for us, and Leonard Pavelski, I don't even know who the hell that guy was, I don't know where I got him from, Does, doesn't matter though. Alright, so we're up here at the draft, and the big question is, uh, is uh, this McFarland character. Oh yeah, sorry, just needed a drink. Alright. So what we'll do is, before we get into the draft, we'll do just the awards and all that good stuff, just so you guys can see everything. So there you go, your Tampa Bay Lightning have won the Stanley Cup. Uh, yeah, so we can't even see the first two winners there. President's Trophy, Colorado Avalanche, so at least we beat Colorado in uh, round three there. Clarence S. Campbell, there's the first time the San Jose Sharks have won that particular trophy, the Clarence S. Campbell. Nothing, uh, you know, we should we should be proud of this year. Although it's disappointing, it's still a proud year. Uh, second best team in the NHL, is not too shabby. Art Ross, Jonathan Druin, it looks like he's taking it over from his uh, teammate Steven Stamkos. James Norris, Eric Johnson, uh, Lady Bing, Jonathan Druin, Calder Memorial, Lucas Lieso, Leso, Conn Smythe, Anders Lindback, yeah, with the last three games, how he played. Vesna Trophy, Tuka Rask, William M. Jennings, Ernest Shirelli. There you go, Ernest Shirelli. And Jack Campbell, actually. Uh, Bill Masterton, Ladislav Schmid, uh, Frank J. Selke, Patrice Bergeron, Ted Lindsay, Tuka Rask, Maurice Richard, Jonathan Druin. Okay, so there you go. Uh, is there anything else? Playoff tree, we've already seen that. Player stats for the playoffs. Do we want to see that? I already saw that, didn't we? No, I didn't see that in the last video. Right, right, right. Okay, I'll show you guys this as well. Player stats for the playoffs. 
We can see who underproduced, who did good for us. I don't think I showed you guys this at the end of the uh, last video. I think I just quit the game. So, uh, Michael DeCall, he finished with 23 points in 23 games played. So, I mean, he's 87 overall now as well, right? And I know he's only got four star, but this guy has, I mean, 99 for offensive awareness and his... If that wrist shot accuracy gets up to, like, just high 80s, he's going to be, like, a 40-goal scorer, man. All right, so to call, he's looking like he's going to be our first-line center of the future. Reed Boucher, I mean, this guy played better than Jamie Benn. We should have this guy in the first line, you know? Logan Couture, 13 points in 23 games. Now, we're not going to be able to trade Logan, uh, Logan at the uh, at the uh, the draft here because he's only got one year left on his deal. So we're going to have to re-sign him. I wouldn't mind having Logan come back. I, I was kind of frustrated. But you can make the argument that it was be it was because you put Logan and Jamie Benn. They never really clicked together, right? But if you put two snipers beside Logan on the uh, the wings, he might uh, be able to turn it around. Um, so I'm not going to say I'm not going to trade him, but we're definitely not trading him at the draft. I have to resign him. No team will accept it. Uh, Kirby Reichel, 12 points. Kyle Palmieri, 10 points. Uh, Brendan Lemieux, he's uh, made a, an impact for our team. I think this guy's got to be a third liner for us going into next year. Uh, Brendan Gallagher, 10 points. Remember, though, he was on the first line as well. The first line just did not get it done. We have to figure out how to get our top six all working together, not just the second line tearing it up and the first line going quiet. Jamie Ben, eight points in 23 games played. Yeah, that's just not good enough. That's uh, not good enough. I'll, I'll pay 1.5 mil for a player like that, not seven something. All right, so uh, Trevor Lewis, four points. Brower, four points. All right, all these guys. Uh, Kucherov only had three points in 10 games played, but another guy we got to sign this year. Uh, defenseman. I saw a lot of people saying uh, Carlson. He's just not getting it done in, as an offensive defenseman. You might as well trade him. And uh, I mean, I don't. I don't want to trade him. I mean, he's he's a stud. But I agree, he's not getting like the Eric Carlson type seasons, like the 60 point seasons or anything, right? Not he's not getting close to 20 goals or anything like that. And in the playoffs, what did he do? He was a minus one with five points and 23 games played. I mean. Just not enough points back there from the defensive core. I mean, his individual stats are great, though. When, look at that offensive category. Five-star, five-star, five-star. He's a five-star skating. It's just the defensive and the physical that's a little bit weak. It's not that bad, though, and he's 29 years old. So I'll, I'll see. I'll see. And then goaltenders, Ernest Shirelli. This guy has earned his keep. 1.94 goals against average, 13-7-2, and a save percentage of 93.56. All right, so I think... Uh, we can uh, we can go into the future now with Ernest Shirelli for sure. He proved himself this year. We don't even need uh, to ha hold on to Jack Campbell anymore, really. I, mean, I, could, I could just trade for another uh, backup, right? Uh, all right, so we got that done. Scouting, transaction news, free agency. Yeah, we'll go to scouting report now. So we'll see who is listed to go number one. So, yeah, it looks like McFarland is listed to go number one. There's a goalie in here as well, though. So, uh, Castanguay. Top five. I'm not going to get that guy, though. All right, so it's definitely going to be this Anthony McFarland sniper. Let's see. So we didn't get the red star, right? I mean, uh, sorry, the white star. So I know it says uh, f uh, five green star potential, but don't be surprised if that's like, uh, like a four and a half gold star. It might be five star, right? But we didn't get it down to the white star where it tells you for sure. So there's no, uh, there's no guarantee, even though his individual stats do look good. I mean, all the green numbers are fairly accurate, right? He might not be good defensively, but he's a fast skater. He's got a shot. His offensive awareness is decent, you know, and he's a sniper. So, I mean, within a year or two. The only thing is I'm scared. I don't think it'll drop to three and a half, but you never know, right? Uh, this guy, Walton, Pete Walton, playmaker, 20 years old. Don't know anything about him. Uh, three and a half star, okay. Uh, Jesus, Hennessy. Oh, my God. Hey, Zeus, Hennessy. Uh, uh, individual stats, not bad. Don't know about this guy, though. Okay. And uh, this guy, Cesar, Cesar Lemieux. Uh, okay, some uh, interesting first names here on these uh, draft picks. Doug Pecker. <laughs> All right. Um, so definitely Anthony McFarlane would be the one that we're trading up for if we want to, right? And I think that uh, we've seen enough of the analysts and the fans commenting away. I think it's something that we definitely need to go after. Jamie Benn for the first overall pick. I'm fine with it. I wouldn't mind doing it. All right, so I think that's everything. Yes, it is. So let's start the year seven offseason with the year seven draft. Here we go. All right, to begin NHL draft. Let me just take another drink. All right, so you got the Buffalo Sabres and the St. Louis Blues one and two. I just want to keep an eye on these St. Louis Blues because um, just in case I want to make a... Just in case I, I want to make another trade for the, like, the second overall pick. Let me just see St. Louis. Do they want to give it up? No, they don't want to give it up. Never mind. 
Because I do, I, I wouldn't be opposed, like, I, I want to make the trade for the first overall pick, yeah, but I, I wouldn't mind picking up a player as well, right? And with the second overall pick, with a player wouldn't be bad, but they don't really have anybody special. I was hoping maybe, you know, like another Merrill in there or something. Some three and a half star players, I want to see if I can find it, like a four star player who's nice and low in the trade value. So nobody here with St. Louis, so let's check out the Buffalo Sabres now. Buffalo... All right, so, ooh, good news. So the Buffalo Sabres do want to give up their first overall pick, so that's good. Uh, do they have any prospect players that I can pick up here? Uh, yeah, look at Grigorenko, Jesus. 82 overall. No, I don't need to sign um, Michael Grigorenko, that's okay. Uh, Ekblad, all right. Uh, this guy, there you go. There's a four-star player. He's 26 years old, though, so I don't know when his birthday is. He might he might hit his, uh, his year... Like, he might turn 27 before the jump this year, so I can't tell. You know what? Hang on one second. got to blow my nose. All right, that's much better. So this guy, he may turn 27 before the jump next year, so it's not something that I want to get for sure. Uh, four star. Four, oh, four red star. This guy's kind of low. 62, 23 years old. I might, I want, might want to pick him up. Okay. I'm just thinking about because Jamie Benn, I'd imagine his trade value is a little bit higher. Oh, they can't accept that. Salary cap? All right, 2.7. But let's just see the uh, straight-up trade values. I mean, yeah, that, that would go through straight up because they want to give it up, and his trade value is worth even more, right? So let's just actually see if we can make this go through without a Jamie Benn. Logan and uh, see what I mean about Logan? One year left. I got to hold on to Logan for now. Uh, DeCall, not trading him. Uh, left wingers, Jamie Benn, Boucher I'm holding on to, Kirby Reichel I'm holding on to, Dwight King I'm holding on to, holding on to all these guys. All right, right wingers. Uh, Gallagher, damn, look at Gallagher's trade value. He's 87 overall now? Damn, 87 overall. Five years left at 3.5 mil. What a steal this guy is. Yeah, he's jumped up. Uh, don't want to trade away a Brendan Gallagher. I know I got uh, a little bit too many wingers right now, but uh, I like Gallagher. He's a, he's a good power forward. Kucherov might be the one who's traded, but I got to sign him anyways. All right, Paul Mieri, no, he's a good third liner for us. No, he's not going anywhere. Brower, got to sign him, so he can't go anywhere. Defenseman, uh, Merrill's are, holy shit, look at this. Merrill jumped up to 88 overall, are you kidding me? What a beast. What a, what a trade that was for uh, Marlowe. Uh, he's two years left, that's why his trade value so much. It's because he's 88 overall, two years left in a minor league deal. I'm not trading Merrill. Carlson, though, uh, six mil. Might just be able to put it through for Carlson for the first and hold on to Jamie Benn. But then if I do that, then I'm missing a defenseman. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Uh, hang on. Honka, nope. And goaltenders. Uh, Ernest Shirelli's 87. Look at that. Jack Campbell's 85. Eight years left at 1.850 mil. I mean, that's such a good deal. Should I trade him or should I hold on to him for a backup just in case for Ernest Shirelli? I could trade him again like next year, right? Well, actually, if I hold on to him, then next year his, his overall might drop a little bit, right? So if, if I go like, hang on. If I go Jack Campbell for the first, will that go through straight up? Hmm. That might because they want Jack Campbell and they want to give up the first. His trade value is decent. Hang on a second here. Give up this guy Terrell as well, yeah. Hang on, we might be able to steal this first overall pick. Carlson... Uh, Shattenkirk. Now, you know what? We'll give up, uh... Yeah, I wouldn't mind giving up Jamie Benn to this team and, uh, Jack Campbell. Yeah, I'm just thinking, I'm just thinking. No, you know what? I could hold on to Jack Campbell because he is a good backup. Jamie Benn, I want to get off the team anyways. Uh, yeah, but now if I do this, I'm going to have to get some salary back. So, hang on, let's see if there's any salary I could take back. Uh, well, let's see here. 2.7 mil. This guy, Rutu, yeah, I could pick up Rutu. Okay, that would clear it. So, Jamie Ben for the first overall pick in Tomo Rutu. Okay. Now, let's just see if there's anybody else that I could get on this deal. Make it easier. Or make it more worthwhile for Jamie Ben. Uh, no, no. Postler, how old is he? 24. Uh, he may turn out to be something. I'll, I'll pick this guy up. There you go. Uh, Papin, yeah, I'll pick this guy up. Even though he's got the red star, I'll pick him up. All right. And uh, Grigorenko and uh, Gergens. No, I don't need those guys. No, don't need them. And I'll, uh, I'll pick up a first-round pick for next year. How about that? Jamie Ben. Yeah. How much salary do I have? Uh, Rutu. You know what? Is there anybody else I can trade on this team that I want to? Logan, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Maybe Carlson, but I can wait till the offseason for him. 
Uh, Jack Campbell, that's the other one. Or Terrell I could give up. Yeah, Terrell I could give up. There you go. I want to hold on to Jack Campbell. That's a, a nice one-two punch in net for a very... I mean, that's that's 4.85 million for two goalies right there for at least another four three years, right? So, no, I think I should hold on to the two goalies. Terrell and Ben. Uh, you know, I don't need Postler anymore. That would just make it harder to go through. Route 2. Hang on, let me just see. Yeah, yeah. Papin first, Terrell. You know, I'm not going to get the first, I don't think. Nah, there's no way I'll get the first. I can take that out. No way I'll get that. But now I can go back and I can add these uh, these younger players back in. This Postler guy. You know what? I'll add in uh, Zadaroff as well. All right. So, Jamie Ben and our goaltender prospects for and a 5th, uh, a 6th, and a 7th. I don't need these. All right. For the first overall, Tomo Rutu to Elo, uh, even out the salary. And then a bunch of uh, young rookies with 3.5 star that may not turn out to be anything special, but just filling up the shelves again. Uh, if this doesn't go through... You know, it might not go through, and I'm, I'd have to take off maybe Postler and Jadaroff and just go in with Papin, but I'll try it out, right? So, Jamie, Ben, and Terrell, for all these players, will it go through? No, okay, figured that much. I think there was just a little bit too much going back the other way there. Uh, so, B Buffalo, whoops. The Buffalo Sabres. Buffalo, uh, first overall, Jamie, Ben. There you go. And uh, we'll get the Route 2 train coming back the other way. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where is he? 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 Route 2. Very nice. And also, I'll pick up that. Uh, I don't need the two other guys. Let's pick up this guy. And he's injured, but that's okay. Papin. All right. So Papin, Route 2, and the first overall pick. Yeah. And I'll give him that goaltender prospect still. I don't need him. Terrell. All right. And the draft picks. Very seventh. A sixth. And a fifth. All right, so Jamie Ben Terrell for the first overall pick, and Alexander or, or Alex Alexis Papin. Will it go through? Yes, it did. On behalf of the Buffalo Sabres organization, I accept your trade offer. We'll see you out on the ice. So the Buffalo Sabres, they get their their superstar Jamie Ben. Um, I'm sure he'll be a superstar on their team, right? And we still have a few tr few more trades here. So let me just see the St. Louis Blues. I wouldn't mind getting the second overall pick if we can get it for the right price here. But I don't think I have anything else to trade away. Goaltenders, Jack Campbell, but now they don't they don't they don't want to give up the second, right? So it's not as easy. And I want to hold on to Jack Campbell. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those are my six defensemen. Don't need to trade them away. I got rid of you know what? No, I'm not gonna push the envelope. I don't even know what the second overall pick would be good if he if he'd be good or not. I was just thinking, um, if we could, you know, load up on some prospects. Somebody who could play alongside of, uh, what's his name, uh, McFarland when we draft him, right? Two young guys coming into the uh, league at the same time. So, here we go. We've earned the first overall pick with the Jamie Ben trade. And, uh, oh, look at that. Is it the goaltender? Hang on. No, no, that guy's, what am I talking about? That guy's still number five. They're saying that this Pete Walton guy is supposed to go number one now. He's ahead of uh, Anthony McFarland. I didn't scout this guy at all, though. Yeah, I don't know anything about him. So, uh, <laughs> imagine I draft this guy now and he's like three and a half green star and this guy's four and a half yellow star. Whatever. I mean, I'm going to go with it because if this guy, yeah, I have to. So, Anthony McFarland. Maybe he's fallen out of the uh, projected top one, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draft him. Anthony McFarland. There you go. All right. The St. Louis Blues got Walton. Uh, Philadelphia got that goaltender. Anaheim got Jesus Hennessy. Uh, and uh, what's it called? The LA Kings got, uh, what was his name? Caesar Lemieux. Yeah, Caesar Lemieux. I can remember names like that when they're that friggin', <laughs> um, oh, I got whatever. Brashear, I'll get this guy. Jimmy Brashear, left wing enforcer for the OHL. Hell yeah. There you go. All right, so I'm automatically going to finish the draft now. I don't need to make, uh, don't need to make any more trades. Those are the trades that we're going to make. Uh, you know what? Let me just make sure I don't lose any of this. Hang on one second. All right, that's much better. So we have finished the draft. Let's go up to the resign stage. I'll get the resign stage done, and um, we'll leave it in free agency. Yeah, this might be a little bit of a longer video. That's okay. All right, and I'll also check out the other picks. Hang on, I gotta remember who was it? Uh, it was St. Louis, Toronto, I think, and and L.A. There was another team in there. Hang on. So we'll check out our guy first. Uh, rookie skaters. Let's see. Uh, there he is. All right, so he's not the five green star like we thought. The four and a half yellow star, which, is, I mean, it's not the three and a half yellow star, which we can be thankful for. All right, but it's not the green, and it's not five. But he's four and a half, and he's 80 overall at 19 years old already. 
Okay, so, I mean, this guy can already play in the NHL as a third. He's already listed as a third liner, probably. Uh, he's got a decent shot. His, ac his slap shot accuracy is a little bit low, but I'd imagine that gets already... I'd imagine it gets better. Puck skills is a little bit low. I'd imagine that, that gets better. Offense awareness is already 87. The defensive category is a little bit low. Body checking, he's good in the body checking category, and he's lights out speed. Holy crap, he's a fast skater. All right, but actually what's all really good about the defensive category is his face-offs. His face-offs have already come into the NHL at 77 overall. All right, so, I mean, um, I don't know if this guy is going to be on our team year one. I mean, I, I, I almost have to, don't I? Yeah, I do. But, uh, you know, Jamie Benn over McFarlane, I think Jamie Benn made our team better just with his defensive stats. But still, I'm happy with that trade because we've retooled now for the future with this guy, a young stud future player, and he can play alongside of DeCaul, man. That'd be nice. And put one of them on the wing. It doesn't matter. Uh, Ernest Shirelli, all right, so he's still getting better. Uh, a few more years. Hopefully he gets a little bit better still, even though he's got the red star. Uh, Cooper and Talbot, I'll sign you guys if you want two-way deals. Yeah, all right. Give you a deal. And Talbot, give you a deal. I only need You only need one year. There you go. So there's the goaltenders taken care of. We shouldn't have any problems signing everybody here. We just got rid of, uh, what's his name? Jamie Ben. So, hang on, let me just see what the uh, contract length is right now, what the best uh, year length is. So, we got to sign Logan, we got to sign DeCall, we got to sign Kucherov. Yeah, we got to sign a bunch of these guys. One, two, three, four, five. Five for Carlson, four for Gallagher. Yeah, five and four. Okay. And what, wait, 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 what about Ernest Shirelli? Hang on, hang on. One, two, three, three for Ernest Shirelli. So, Five and four. So it really doesn't matter right now. We can make our new one. Uh, let's go with uh, our best players first. Logan, how much does he want? All right, Logan wants $9 million. Holy crap, Logan Couture. <laughs> um, I don't mind giving it to him. Five years. Yeah, there you go. You can have your $9 million. But remember, with that contract comes a uh, big responsibility. And if you don't, you know, work out that, uh, or if you don't, uh, what's it called, play to that uh Play to this contract, and then we're going to have to trade you. And don't worry about it, boys. I can easily afford this for a year or two. And if he's not producing, then we can always trade away this deal. Okay? So it's not a big it's not a big uh, issue here. Uh, nine. 9.4. Uh, let me just think. I could take it down to... Yeah, I could take it down to 7.75. There you go. Five years of 7.75 for uh, Logan. Uh, DeCall, hopefully I can get this guy on a, uh, a cheap deal. No, he wants a lot of money as well. Yeah, it makes sense. I mean, this guy earned it. Uh, five years, four years. Four years is the same as a uh, Brendan Gallagher. Yeah, okay. There you go. Four years at six mil. Uh, four years at six mil. I'm just thinking 6.9. I'll go down to 5.85 for four years for DeCall. Kucherov, want to sign him no matter what. Three years. Oh, I'll give him only a three-year deal so I can give him the least amount of money possible. All these guys, they want their big deals now. But remember, if they don't produce, we're going to have to uh, move them. Okay? So four mil for three years. It's okay. These aren't the uh, worst contracts. These are fine. Justin Falk. This guy's dropped a little bit. Four years. Yeah, I'll give you four years. Go down to 4.25 for four years. There you go. Uh, Boucher. This is why I was thinking about making that trade for the second overall pick. Just because I knew my team is, they're running into uh, cap problems now. Uh, Boucher, I could sign for long term and a good deal. Six years, or I could go four years, just the same as a uh, Gallagher. Yeah, you know what, let's go four years. Gallagher and uh, DeCall at three million. There you go. We've got to save some money here. Don't want to just sign everybody long term. Uh, Cody Cece, if I get him long term, I'd like that. He's going to, uh, yeah, there you go. Five years. I think I can get five years at four mil for Cody Cece. There you go. Uh, Dwight King, I'll hold off. Brower, I'll hold off. Rutu, I'm going to release you. I don't need Tomo Rutu. Let me just go all skaters here from the bottom up now. Uh, Gervais, hold on to all these guys for depth. Brodziak, he's dropped though, boys. He's got the two and a half star potential now, right? And I think at 80 overall, he's still going to want a little bit of the contract. Yeah, so I don't want to get rid of Brodziak, but I almost have to now. Brower, Lewis, Sabatka, Russell, McLaren. I get rid of McLaren. We never use McLaren. Get rid of him. Uh, Kucherov, Boucher. Okay, so let's just go ahead here. See who accepts the deal, who's coming back. Yeah, we should have enough cap space. Shouldn't be a problem. Especially with Jamie Benn gone. All right, so Justin Falk, he's back. McFarland, Reed Boucher, Talbot, uh, Cody Cece, Logan, 
Kucherov, uh, Kemper, and uh, DeCall. So everybody that we wanted on the right contracts, they re-signed. So that's good. Uh, Sundin. Uh, yeah, I'll give you a two-way deal. There you go, Mats. Uh, Brodziak. Okay, I'm going to have to go position by position now. So here's the goaltenders. The defensemen, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's the six defensemen. Uh, Gervais and uh, Russell. I wouldn't mind signing you guys to two-way deals. No, one-way no one -way deal, Russell. I'm sorry. Or Gervais, I'm going to have to release you. Don't need that. Russell, two-way deal. I'll take you back. There you go. Good job. He knows. He got the chance to play in the playoffs last year on this team. Uh, Brower, yes, he's still got the four-star. I want Troy Brower back. He played good for us. Yeah, I know it's only it's 2.5, but still, he's got the four-star, so he's not getting any worse anytime soon. So I want Troy Brower back. All right, uh, Erskine, no, I don't need you. Okay, uh, left-wingers, Steven Seagal, I don't need you. Uh, hang on a second here. Jesus, Brashear, 36 overall. <laughs> <laughs> He's really only a tough guy. I'm signing him. Whatever. Uh, Dwight King. Definitely got to get this guy back. This guy's a penalty killer for us. Three years, Dwight? No, one year. I got to live off the uh, one-year deals with you guys. With my third and fourth liner. Sabatka, so maybe. Lemieux. Definitely got to get Lemieux back. Brendan Lemieux. I'll give you a four-year four, uh, four -year deal there, Brendan. There you go. 1.2. want you for the third line. Paye, same thing. He's dropped. So I'm going to release you. The potential's dropped. Uh, there's Papin, the guy that we picked up in the draft. Hopefully, you know, nothing special, but maybe he turns out to something like uh, Brandon Lemieux with the four red star potential. You never know. Brashear, we signed. And uh, centers, Brodziak. I'm going to let go of Brodziak, boys. All right. Uh, he's, he's had a great career here for us, but uh, he's, he's going to get worse at, with that potential. So I'm going to release Brodziak. Thank you, Kyle Brodziak, for your service, but uh, that's hockey. Sometimes, you know, you just got to get rid of the older players. Trevor Lewis. I'll get you back for a good deal. There you go. I know it's only one way, but still, I wouldn't mind getting uh, Lewis back. And uh, Boyle, if you want a two-way deal, I'll get you back. No, he wants a one-way deal, so I'll release you. I don't need you. I can re-sign these guys in free agency once we know what we have and what we need. Okay? So I think uh, I'm glad that I signed Logan back on our team, uh, at least for another year or two, because now we have the snipers that we're going to put alongside of them. All right? If that... If indeed you guys are right about that whole situation with two playmakers being together, not producing, then uh, then we'll see what happens. The reason I don't buy that is because we had Joe and Logan on the first line together in uh, year one, and they tore it up, right? So uh, I don't necessarily buy that, but we'll try it out. All right, and all these guys. So Vladimir Sabatka, $16 million. I'll get Vladdy back on our team. There you go. Same thing as everybody else on the depth one year. All right, so... There's Vladimir Sabatka back on our team. There you go. So we'll go one more day, and I'll just show you guys our roster, and then I'll show you who's available in free agency, and you guys can give me your opinions. Trades, signings, but we remember, we don't want to go crazy. I know we did lose in the Stanley Cup Finals, but we made our crazy trade of Jamie Benn. You know, Logan, I think we should hold on to. Give him another chance. But Ernest Shirelli and Jack Campbell, we can trade away Jack Campbell, but I think hold on to him for another year just to see if Ernest Shirelli, it was a fluke year, just to give him one more year, right? Uh, defenseman, Merrill, Carlson, Shattenkirk. I imagine Merrill's going to drop back down. But uh, Merrill, Carlson, Shattenkirk, Falk, Honka, and CeCe, I'm fine with that top six. That's a good top six, all right? Uh, but you guys can weigh in on that. What should we do? And then forwards, you got Logan, Gallagher, DeCall, Kucherov, uh... Uh, okay, you know what? Hang on, let me just count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There you go. So your top 12 is everybody from Lemieux up. Lemieux, McFarland, Sabalika, Brower, King, Reichel, Boucher, Palmieri. All right, all those guys are our starting players. And if we need depth, we got Sundin, Lewis, uh, Adam Ernie, uh, McCarron. All right, well, it ends off there. So basically our only depth players are Sundin and Lewis. Okay, so we got 14 players up front. Uh, six players on uh, D, so we could use some definite, um, you know, two-way deals. We can even use one-way deals because we have $15 million of cap space. So, I mean, a one-year at 1 1.5 or 1.75 to play in the minors and be called up, I I'm fine with that. Those players are fine, all right? So there you go. So let's just see who's available in free agency. Uh, you got goaltenders. There you go, Salonen. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's going to be a good uh, goaltender. This guy was probably drafted, like, Fifth overall, yeah, there's another guy who has yet to play a game in the NHL. Fifth overall pick and let to go to free agency because I guarantee the Devils just have too many players. So we'll definitely sign that guy. We'll try to sign that guy. Uh, all skaters, let's see if there's any more potential. 
Uh, some young potential. Maybe sign this Thomas uh, Yurko guy because he's 26. He might get a jump this year, just like Merrill did. Same thing with uh, Nieto. We could bring Nieto back to the team. All these guys we could sign. All right, restock our shells with the uh, young players. And defensemen, let me just show you the actual NHL defensemen. Here you go. So, I like our defensive core. We might be able to sign a few of these guys for some depth. Here you go, like uh, a Justin Falk, a Weber, right, for some uh, depth for our team. But I think we can use the defensemen that we have. And here are our forwards. Uh, I mean, no, I don't I don't want any skill for the top six. We don't need any skill. We need depth. So, maybe like a Dana Terrell, Steve Downey, a Moss, uh, a Como, right? Yeah, these guys down here. Rich Peverly, even. Yeah, these guys down here that can play, uh, what's it called? Bottom six minutes. That's what we need. All right, so if you guys uh, have any suggestions. Oh, you know what? Oh, I forget the team, so remind me in the next video, and it'll be the first thing that I do. Remind me the other top four teams that went in the draft, and I'll show you guys the draft picks. I completely forget right now. I don't want to waste time going back and trying to find them. So let me know who the top four picks were, what the player's name was, and what team they played for, and I'll show you that in the beginning of the next video. And if you guys have any suggestions for the team, let me know, and I'll see you in the next one.